Gregory hits 100 as Lower Order saves Somerset. The hosts are still battling hard for superiority in Group 2, the top three separated by just six points. Hampshire are a further ten behind third-placed Surrey, but a win at the Cooper Associates County Ground could see them leapfrog Somerset into second place. And it was the visitors who laid an early marker. Electing to bowl after winning the toss, they had a wicket with no runs on the board. Byron bowled by a Barker beauty. The captain helped his side to 20 runs before he also went to Barker, out via an inside edge. The experienced head of James Hildreth was dispatched with by Barker too, the bowler with three for four when he had the number four caught behind. Make that four for four. The finger raised when Bartlett was struck on the pads and he offered no shot. Somerset in some real trouble now. They'd recover to almost double the score, but were still shy of 50 when Wheel had them five down. Goldsworthy caught behind for seven. Banton and Davis had Somerset past 50 runs and began to find their feet as a partnership. They took their side to 78 at the break. Some order restored, but plenty more to do in the afternoon. Banton looked like the right man in at the right time. He took the attack to Hampshire with some defiant batting. He was scoring at a runner ball, his partnership with Davis worth 50, and soon they found three figures. The Somerset number seven was threatening to go to 50, into the 40s early in the afternoon session, but he couldn't get there. Barker got the ball to talk again, the stumps clattered, and the Hampshire bowler had a well-deserved five-wicket bag. Davis too had designs on a 50, also in the 40s when he lost his partner, but he wasn't able to get there either. Barker back for his sixth in his next over. Lewis Gregory and Roloff van der Merwe looked to try and hold steady for Somerset, and did so to some success. The score ticked to past 150, a foothold for the side established, even if they only had three wickets in hand. They ploughed on, the morning session disappeared into the rearview mirror as both men looked in good touch and began to set their sights on 200. Gregory had been flying, and with his eighth four, ticks over to 50 runs, their partnership now threatening to reach 100. A six slapped over the leg side had Somerset on 200 runs, the recovery well and truly on. And he joined his mate on 50, a single sufficient, the innings ballistic, the mark came off 55 balls, featuring two sixes. Once again, the Somerset lower order were salvaging the innings, and they were doing it with confidence. T reached with the score 232 for 7, the session a much improved one for the hosts. And there was no stopping them at the resumption. Disruptions to the session due to bad light did little to slow them. They ploughed their way past 250 and had moved beyond recovery and into taking their opponents to task. They were soon knocking on the door of 300 runs, a feat that looked to be extremely difficult to achieve when they were 43 for 5 earlier in the day. Roloff van der Merwe came to an end at the hands of Brad Wheel. The bowler's fielding found the stumps at the non-striker's end and his intrepid innings was over. Gregory remained though, and kept his foot firmly to the floor, a six launched down the ground took the side to 300, but he wasn't done there. He sealed his century in style, Abbott sent to the fences for four, and he'd reached 100 off 135 balls. The big South African got his revenge, the Somerset all-rounder bowled, surely that was the end of their lower order resistance. Not if Marchand de Langer had anything to say about it. 16 runs smashed from Abbott's three subsequent deliveries, including these two towering sixes. He and Davy raced past 350, but finally Gloucestershire brought the innings to an end. De Langer out to wheel, caught on the pull. Somerset all out for 360. And that's where the day would end. The light not good enough for Gloucestershire to get started. They'd have to wait until day two to get their innings up and running time for them to digest the quite remarkable fight back they just witnessed.